For the next example, we want to view malaria case data by sex and overall totals in a line graph over time. We will start by opening up a new visualization. Click on File and then New. In the Chart Types drop down menu, select Line. Next, we need to select the main dimensions, beginning with Data. Click on Data to open the Data Selector. Select the data type as Program Indicators, and then select the program Malaria Case Management. For the program indicators, select Malaria Cases Female, Malaria Cases Male, and Malaria Cases. These program indicators are essentially applying a filter of the total number of cases to give us the number of cases by sex. So the malaria cases female plus the malaria cases male will equal the value of the malaria cases program indicator. Click on Hide. Open the period selector. Select the fixed period type and then monthly for 2019. Select July to December of 2019 from the available list. Make sure you deselect last 12 months as well. Then click Hide to close the period selector. Click on Organization Unit to open the Organization Unit Selector. Ensure Training Land is selected as the Organization Unit Dimension. Then click Update. You should now see the selected data displayed in a line graph. The standard data visualization format filters out the organization units. If we wanted to compare the cases by district, we can change the chart type to a column chart. Update the layout and move the period to the filter and the organization units to the category dimension. Click on the Organization Unit Dimension and edit the level to show districts. Then click Update to view the changes. Now we are able to view the malaria case data by district. If we take the individual bars for male and female cases, we can also see that the sum of these cases equals the total malaria cases indicator. Let's pause here so you are able to complete the activities for this unit and create the data visualization in example 2 on your own.